In today's video, we're going to check out the top 5 best coffee grinders in 2019. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and more. If you'd like to see some more information about these coffee grinders, you can check out the description below. Also, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the latest technology reviews. Okay, so let's get started with the video. At number 5, it's the Paul X Mini. If you're a coffee enthusiast that likes to control every aspect of your coffee, then you're always in search for better grinders, because after buying your beans, the next step is grinding. And this can make or break your cup of joe. The Paul X Mini is a hand grinder that you can pretty much take everywhere. The best aspect of this grinder is that it encourages slow grinding, meaning that your coffee's flavor will be enhanced. The Paul X Mini on its first impression looks very tiny, but this is one powerful grinder. It has conical ceramic burrs that are extremely sharp and can easily grind a portion of beans faster than other manual grinders. The Paul X Mini has a unique spring system that keeps the central burr stable for a consistent grind regardless of what you're grinding for. The top of its quality as a grinder, the Paul X Mini is very small, making it extremely portable. To make it a better travel companion, Paul X has built this grinder with steel all around. It's guaranteed that it'll survive hundreds of falls. It's cylinder-shaped and has a crankshaft and rubber grip. It has a very minimalistic design. Everything has a purpose and is functional. It's very clean-looking, providing a sleek and attractive profile, and it'll easily fit in your jacket pocket. And despite its full metal body and heavy look, it's actually quite light, although it is substantial. Ceramic burrs are pretty rare in the grinding industry, but Paul X Mini has them incorporated. The ceramic burrs protect your coffee beans from unnecessary heat exposure, which can ruin the taste and the aroma of the coffee. The Mini's use of the spring-loaded burrs has eliminated the scare of uneven grinds in coarser grinds by keeping the central burr stable and static. Coming in with 13 grind options including fine enough for Turkish coffee and espresso and coarse enough for French press. There's literally no better smell in the morning than the freshly ground coffee. With the Paul X Mini, you can easily afford the experience and do it in the comfort of your own home. It's a very quality grinder that won't let you down. At number four, it's the Hario Skirton. Usually, people consider buying electric grinders because of their ease of use, but many electrical grinders are very expensive and don't provide high quality burrs. In grinding capability, you get the most value by getting a manual grinder. The Hario Skirton is a hand grinder series that's very well known around coffee circles for its reliability and high quality grinding. The coffee ground with a Skirton tastes pretty good, especially with finer grinds. When ground for espresso, the quality of the grind was unrealistically good. But the grind became more inconsistent as we tried coarser grinds. French press and other types of coffee that require coarser grinds all leave a bitter, unpleasant taste. It's fairly easy to use and grinds very fast compared to other manual grinders. This is all due to its ceramic burrs. But it's kind of tiring if you're used to grinding your coffee with electric grinders. However, the Hario Skirton is very quiet as opposed to electric grinders that wake the whole house up in the morning. With a Skirton, you won't be an annoyance to anyone. The Hario Skirton provides very clean operation. The ground coffee all falls into the glass container for storage, leaving no mess to clean up. You can even use it as a storage jar for short periods of time. The Skirton is a really good option for the home barista who likes to brew larger amounts of beans at once. You can grind as much as 60 grams at once without feeling discomfort. But the glass design retracts from its portability and travel friendliness. It would not be a wise choice to pack this in your backpack, as it's a little fragile. Also, it's rather larger than most hand grinders. It's best suited for home or office use, but definitely for coffee lovers. If you don't want to spend a fortune and want to have a next level coffee experience, then the Hario Skirton is the right choice for you. It's willing to become your best morning friend for a long time, providing great value for great quality and exclusiveness, mostly due to its ceramic burrs and variety of grind sizes. At number three, it's the Oxo Brew Conical Grinder. Oxo has been in the kitchen industry for a long time now. Its line of coffee machines and equipment is equally impressive, and they've put a lot of brain power in creating some very good coffee appliances. The Oxo Brew Conical Grinder is a pretty amazing electric grinder with conical burrs, and it also keeps a budget price. It's an instant favorite, and most of the taste tests have yielded amazing results. 
people love OXO ground coffee. Various taste tests have proved that the OXO Brew Conical Grinder is able to unlock the subtle flavours of the coffee beans that other grinders cannot. Every cup will taste strong and bold, different roasts will bring their distinct flavours and aromas. It has a very consistent grind size, which directly influences the brewing process. Compared to other grinders, OXO has extracted more nuances from different roasts. However, the OXO Brew Conical Grinder cannot grind the beans fine enough for espresso, albeit that it does advertise as such. The maximum fine setting is rather coarse for espresso and doesn't yield good results. The machine only has 15 distinct grind size settings, which is good enough for extracting taste from different roasts and for different coffee types. However, if you're a coffee enthusiast that likes to tinker with your coffee, that may be a drawback. The OXO Brew Conical Grinder is pretty easy to use. The hopper lodges the beans and it's airtight. The bevel below the hopper adjusts the grind size and it's very clearly marked. To grind, you simply just turn the knob and select grind time, and then just push the button. It automatically stops when the process is complete and the freshly ground coffee is stored in the stainless steel container. The machine is very easy to maintain and clean. The hopper and the burr are accessible and fairly easy to clean up. The OXO Brew Conical Grinder is an amazing coffee grinder, which based on its price, you wouldn't expect such premium quality. But the OXO Brew Conical Grinder proves time and time again that with its burr grinder and consistent grind size, it'll be a good addition to the coffee enthusiast's arsenal without breaking the bank. At number two, it's the Capresso Infinity. The Capresso Infinity is a nice upgrade if you started from an electrical blade grinder, which doesn't provide consistency and tends to overheat the beans. The burr grinder works with accuracy, providing full control over your grinds. Of course, the Capresso Infinity is not perfect. It has a low price, but it's a very consistent machine, producing 16 different grind settings. The Capresso Infinity is very well built. It's designed with functionality in mind and can evidently withstand everyday abuse for years. The body is mostly plastic, however it's a hardened plastic and it looks very good. It's a premium looking grinder that would easily blend into most kitchens. It's a beautiful looking appliance, perfect for apartment living. The 8.8 ounce hopper is very compact and doesn't stick out like most hoppers on other machines. This grinder is fairly easy to use. It offers only the most basic functions and 16 grind settings. This number is more than enough for a starter home grinder. There's a timer switch with some reference numbers, but cleaning the machine is a little time consuming because the ground coffee tends to go into crevices due to static. A layer of anti-static coating would have made cleaning the grinder a lot easier. For an entry-level grinder, the Capresso Infinity is an amazing machine for novice home baristas that want to make richer and smoother pour-overs. Surprisingly, in fine enough grinds, it's very consistent. It's even yielded mediocre espresso with a pressurized portafilter, but couldn't yield a good result with a naked portafilter. Also, it couldn't reach the powder-fine size needed for Turkish coffee, which was advertised as achievable. In coarser settings, as for French press, it's yielded inconsistent results tasting bitter and unpleasant. Compared to other electric burr grinders, it's very quiet. Well, quiet enough for having a conversation without shouting. The Capresso Infinity is the grinder of choice for its price point. It can grind very consistently for various brewing methods and can grind different kinds of roasts without losing flavor. With the durability that it offers, it's the perfect entry-level grinder. And at number one, it's the Barazza Encore Grinder. The Barazza Encore Grinder is the best grinder for the newbie brewer, period. However, it's also an excellent home grinder for the experienced barista that's on a budget. With its 40 different grind settings and consistent grinding throughout the range, it's near perfect for home use. With its burr grinders, it grinds very consistently without overheating the beans, which may otherwise result in bitter tastes. The Encore has a newer gearbox that's fairly quiet and very durable. The gears of the Barazza Encore are made from 15% glass-filled thermoplastic. That's the component that makes the Encore lighter and quieter. Quiet enough to continue your conversations during the grinding process. The new gearbox can also detect any jams and will instantly stop the machine without damaging any vital parts or other components. If you have a little knowledge about coffee, you know that grinding can significantly decrease or increase the quality of the coffee. Also, the speed that it grinds is very important. 
If you grind your beans too fast, the essential oils will be released prematurely due to heat, and also, if they're ground too slow, they'll go stale. Baratza provides perfect timing at exactly 450 RPM, which is right in the middle, a quick grind without the excess heat. The wide range of grind size settings of the Baratza Encore is amazing. It has 40 different grind size settings ranging from 250 microns to as large as 1,200 microns. You can get fine enough grind for a decent espresso with a naked porter filter, as well as the ultra coarse grinds required for cold brews and French press. The Encore also gets really close to the powder fine grind size required for Turkish coffee. The Baratza Encore is a pretty simple no frills machine. It's a very simple design that'll help you understand coffee and grinding very well. You'll reveal deep secrets about each brew because you'll not be distracted with the features and lights. Coffee making is not an easy craft to learn properly, and some might be overwhelmed, but the Baratza Encore gives an easy introduction. Without a doubt, this is the best burr bean grinder for beginners on the market. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.